Okay, you guys, it's that time. What time? That's the mummy time. <laughs> Mom, mummy update time. Mummy right? update time. Well, it's so weird calling myself mummy. I don't consider myself like mummy. I think mama or well, mom. mama Nyla time. Yeah. But like then it's like a little too personal. <laughs> but it is getting personal. But maybe we could generalize and be it saying like it's yummy mummy time. Yummy mummy. Okay, I, I love that. Like that. Yeah. So it's time for another update, and I know a lot of you guys have been like commenting, asking like. Some questions here and there, so mm -hmm. we thought we'd just put it all together yeah. and have another update for you. Exactly, especially if there's any mothers who watch this or mothers to be, maybe you're yes. pregnant. Found out last time actually from the episodes mm -hmm. we do that there were actually a number Several. of you yeah. who were pregnant or had just given birth. So let's get sharing. Okay, so first, question number one mm -hmm. um, Are you back to your optimal self, like your body, your yes. internal body? Hey, we haven't even what? talked about like, that yet. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, let me tell you something. Okay. <laughs> I I feel I don't know if this will sound cocky, but I feel really good about my body. Really, really, really good. I remember like saying to you at some point when I was pregnant, like, yeah. oh my goodness, when I give birth, I I really even want to try and be smaller than I am now. And like that's my goal. You are, I, right? I am. I for sure am. And I really love my body. I'm not as curvy as I used to be. Which sometimes I feel like people could be a little judgy about that. Like Curvy, you need to have like this like what the I hip know, like or hip ass bust. Maybe my oh. bust is a little bigger actually. Okay. But I just feel like um, there are these. There's this notion that you've got to be this thick, curvy African woman, which mm. I admire in others. But I'm really happy with my body, which isn't as curvy, but. I really like it. I just, I'm having so much fun dressing my body and I find that it's, I can get away with a lot because I don't have to feel so self-conscious about like, is this skirt too tight and is my butt out there and oh. I can just be myself. But anyway, point is, I feel really good. You used to really think good. that? I mean, sometimes I would. I'd feel, I'd feel the eyes and I, I don't know. I just, I feel the attention. The eyes and... are still there currently. <laughs> it's just... Susan has been so good for me. I, I, th I think you. I think the eyes are still there, but maybe because now that you're a mom, like that womanhood has come out even stronger. Yeah, so you're just maybe. more like, like, yeah, stare. I don't care. You know? <laughs> maybe that's part of it too. Like I push okay. a baby yeah. out. Like I, well, I can deal with your stares, whatever. But I just I feel really good about my body. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, wait. Because if she can deal with poop, she can deal with your stares. Right? Like it's like it's like 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 it's like a stamp. I hear I I, I hear you, Susan. That's right. true. Like I've I've been through the worst of it. Like what what are stairs? I yeah, what it. are stairs? What are stairs? Mm -hmm. Um two, how did you get your body back? Because it you oh. bounced back really quickly. Like I mean I've I've seen you throughout yeah. and it's like wow, I really <laughs> hope I, I will I will bounce back like that. Thank you. Um you know actually, okay, so I did a couple of things. The first is um, I would try and eat really, really healthy. Right. Much better than I probably eat right now. But I would eat very healthy, like I'd be having loads more salads. I'd try and reduce my intake of meat. I wouldn't have as much dairy, which mm. help, makes me bloated, which mm. also in turn makes my baby bloated because when you breastfeed, whatever you're taking in goes and pa is passed on so to the baby. So if Nyla's bloated, you'll be like... Yeah, I know I'm probably the one. <laughs> and it's probably something I need to sort out. So I just started to eat... Um, healthier and just be mm. paying more attention. There's also a period where I would try and work out a little bit to try and tone my body. Now I don't work out as much. I just go on walks um, like every other day for about 30 okay. minutes, maybe even up to an hour and I go with Nyla on her stroller. And, um, but I don't, I used to work, I, I was a little bit more keen on that mm. and just like getting things right and uh, mm. abs, whatever. Um, and, and then the last thing which I think really helped is breastfeeding. And that burns a lot of calories, um, but but maybe also the last last thing is just like God. I don't know because there are women because <laughs> there are women who are who say, oh, but I, I sort of did all that. I watched mm. what I was eating. I breastfed, and what happened? But I, I don't it was know. the right equation for your body. Type. Exactly. Yeah. Everyone's a little different. Yeah. So, yeah. But those are my. Okay. Things, you know. um, let's get down and dirty now. So, in terms of like breastfeeding, yeah, um, I've heard really like horrific yeah. stories okay. of like woo, cracking Child. nipples. Are you and are you ready? Like that. Are you ready for so, this? So, did you ever have any of that? So, I've never had cracked nipples, but the first 
the first couple of weeks, I mean, yeah. it was maybe even like up to a month. It would be sometimes really painful and really sharp pains, but it wasn't anything that was too bad. Because I've heard of women going, the, I mean, talking about it being really, really painful, really, really painful. But now for me, what's um, really difficult is that Nyla is teething and she's got like a little tooth out. So when she's done eating, breastfeeding, what does she do? She decides, I'm just gonna play with this little chew toy and what comes right after is the most painful thing ever. And then I'll try and be like, Nyla! But she thinks it's a, it's a game, so she'll start smiling like really proper smiling at yeah. me and I'm just like no no smiling that's not nice so she's basically gnawing at like, your nipple literally doing that uh it's not fun <laughs> they have gone through a lot um but you remember when I used to tell you I don't know I think I mentioned it how mm. I had like um a lot of what is a stretch marks mm -hmm. but they sort of disappeared which I don't what? know what yeah I did you put any inch of like, like coconut oil yeah they're not all fully gone but okay. for the most part they are That's which amazing. I'm just like Phew, especially on my breasts so I'm very very happy about that another thing that happens I don't know if I've ever gotten you to feel but you I have never up... touched her breasts guys <laughs> but <I have> never <laughs> and never <laughs> but but you end up having engorged breasts which means basically like they turn into stones oh okay. which is what i'm saying like i don't know if i've ever gotten you to feel because for all my friends who aren't pregnant it's the craziest thing. like even my little mm. sister i i mean it's the most shock you should see jaws drop like, like why are your breasts so hard it becomes like stone mm. and then your veins almost it feels like it's the weirdest most crazy feel but that's ever. because of because breastfeeding. Milk? So b basically, if you go like a, a number of hours without breastfeeding, because you're used to ex expelling milk, yeah. um, they start to fill up and suddenly they become these hard rocks and they just, the only relief that it's breastfeeding. is breastfeeding. And they start to get painful as well. So that's another thing that wow. um, was really okay. shocking. But basically, the hardest rock, if ever we go like a day of filming, you've got, it's the... It's, if it happens, okay, yeah, you can yeah, ask me to the, touch and I'll crazy. be like, okay. <laughs> It's crazy. Like I've gotten people go like, "Oh my god, what's wrong with that?" Because it's it's a lot. And then the veins, it it I can't even begin to explain to you. So how long are you gonna continue to breastfeed for? You know, I've had this conversation in my mind. Let's have uh, it verbally. Okay, now. okay, okay. So I used to hear a lot of crazy stories about breastfeeding, and I'd mm. tell myself, "Okay, if I go till six months, that's great," because mm -hmm. I hear how difficult it is. Uh, Nyla is now eight months, almost nine. And I'm feeling like if 2018 is a year we quit breastfeeding, I'm all about that. Like I know there are women who go until like they're two years old. Right. And I just don't know if I'm that woman. Like I'm just ready to have my breasts back. And she's doing really well feeding on other things. I just don't know if, if, it's, if it's for me. Um, I don't see myself stopping like at any time soon either. So mm. I'm not gonna be like, sorry, no more milk. Also, cause I just, it's a, like my, I'm still producing milk. Yeah. It would be such a painful experience, but I'm hoping this is the year at some point where it's like, great job, great job, Nyla. High five. Goodbye. Thanks. Get you your go, own yeah, breast. Get your own milk <laughs> from the fridge. Thank you very much. Because <laughs> it's it's just um, it's it's taxing. Um, but I also love it as a great bonding moment. Mm. So I'm just, I feel like I'm saying it now, but looking back, I'll just be like, why did I even think that? Um, but yeah, I guess I'm just you, gonna you wait can and like see. you know record it and then replay it. Um, later on and think about it okay. and even like shoot it from your perspective so yeah. like oh, so I really see her yeah face. and then you place your phone yeah. right here she's really cute she does this thing where she like plays with her foot Aww. and she's just like she'll try and touch your hair she's breastfeeding oh my god she's you so need to cute. wear a GoPro when you're breastfeeding <laughs> That would be I feel perfect. Like Susan, when the time comes for you, it's gonna be recorded in Ten like angles. 60 angles. It's gonna be the real deal. For your, it's gonna be a huge thing. I'll mic her yeah. or him. <laughs> you hearing the swallowing? Oh, you're, you're we so need, cute. We need good acoustics. So okay. cute. But yeah, like you, you should get a GoPro. I mean, like we, we got a couple. I mean, maybe yeah. actually. You know what? I think I might take you up on that. Do you Why have not? a head start? Yes, as well? we do. This is what I'm saying. Okay, actually, you know what? Maybe I will take you up. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even That's kidding. That's fine. Okay. I think it would be really cool as a personal video. Yeah, and then not because yeah, we're not sharing. sharing. 
No. <laughs> just saying. Yeah. But yeah, I'm definitely going yeah. to do that now. And we even have like a chest state. strap so you can put the, the a second one yeah. on her so then you can edit it so it's Both like... Both views! Yeah. Although I don't know how cute my face is. I well, it would be view, like a but, weird angle, okay. but like if we, we did half and it. half, it'd be perfect yeah. like home video situation. Okay, okay, okay. I hear you. Gotcha, I'm going to gotcha. take you up on that. Okay, one last thing. So how is Nyla actually doing now? Oh, she's good. She's um, eight months, almost nine, like I said. She's crawling all over the place, going up steps, uh, which is also dangerous, but she's doing really well. Like I, I just allow her to be, um, mm. and she's doing... She's doing great. What else? She's got a tooth coming out and another one that seems to be just about um, out as well, which isn't great for these. Is she cranky? But she's good. You know, yes, but it hasn't been as bad as I've heard other mm. kids going through. Um, some, some children actually get physically ill, like they have fevers and vomiting and stuff, but she's doing exceptionally well. But I can tell that there's a mm. slight change. She's a little bit more cranky than she usually is. Um, and and I'm going through this phase where I I feel like I'm the clingy one. Like I'm I'm obsessed with Nyla. I just think she's the cutest. Like Aww. I just I'm obsessed with her. Uh, but as yeah. you should though. I, I guess yeah. But I feel like I'm. I she just makes me so happy. That's and I good. don't know if it's a phase. Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, and oh, and she's she's understanding words as well. Oh, so you can okay. point to things if you say where's the diaper. Um, she, oh, where's Mama? She'll know what you're talking about and she'll look to you. But yeah, I now just can't wait for her to start talking. Oh, I was just about to ask, like, has she said Mama? No, well, she says when she's crying, she says Mama, 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 which... Let's just say it's Mama. Which, yeah, yeah, it's Mama. Yeah, because every time she does that, I'm like, yes, yes, my, come yeah. here, come here, my baby. That's her first what word. What do you need? That's her first word. I think so! Good job, Nyla. You, good job, good girl. Job. You good job. Yeah, you did I well. see you. <laughs> Oh, this is so nice. Thank you for asking and thank you guys for listening. If you have a baby mm. who's about the same age, maybe older, you know what I'd actually really like to know? You want a know? play date? First of all, that's another thing I'm actually oh. planning. Okay. Play dates for Nyla because she needs to be around kids because she comes, Volunteers she comes below. to life whenever she, she's, she's around children. She just loves, mm. loves children. She's actually weirdly obsessed with kids. But um, yeah, play dates are good. But I would love to know if you're breastfeeding, like, where are you at with that? Do you plan on stopping? When do you think you'd be happy to stop? Do, do women stop breastfeeding? I don't know. Just share your journey. Like, is there like a no. hard date? Like, you plan in your calendar, you circle it, and then it's like, that's the day. Done. Cut off. Cut. Or okay, is cut it more like a week situation? Yeah, I'm sure it's gradual. Because you can't, right. even for your body, you've got to disallow your body to. Because if you just went cold turkey, I've just explained to you what happens after a few hours. You'd if have to milk turkey, them. Yeah, you would have to. You'd have to pump which is a lot of work too. Thank you guys for all of your questions for Sharon. Mama Nyla, Yummy Mummy Time will be back soon. Thumbs up and we'll see you in a few days. Bye. Bye. Check out our Two Cents playlist for more videos and don't forget to subscribe.